to sew this together, we're actually going to be working with these individual blocks here. So if you'll pick up your interior piece, I'm just gonna start here with the orange. What you're going to do is you're going to lay the right side over the top of it and just eyeball about a quarter inch offset right there so that we um, in the end come up with a square with a square block. You don't have to be too worried about being precise because we are going to true these blocks up at the end. So as long as you've got your eye, a pretty good eye, just get it offset by about a quarter inch and then you can hit your machine. For efficiency, I'm going to create a right set and a left set of my outside triangles. All right, so there my exterior. Now let's get all of my interior pieces ready to go. So I've got my orange pieces followed by my pebbles. And here we go. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take our interior piece pile and our right side piece pile. And we're going to go to the machine and start putting those together. You're just going to keep moving through your pile. You can see that we finished up the pebble fabric and now we're on to the orange fabric. So we're just going to keep on moving through our piles. And there we have <laughs> our first set put together. Let's take it to the ironing board, clip our seams, and press. All right, so I'm just going to clip my first few, and then I'm ready to iron. We're now going to set our seams. And then we're going to go ahead and open up our block. Instead of moving the this, this seam over to one side, what I'm actually going to do with this block is I'm going to open that seam up and press it open. This is because we end up with a lot of fabric in the middle and this makes it a little easier on our machines. But this is a little outside of the box. And you're just going to continue all the way through those 12 blocks. All right, I'm just going to restack these so they are right side up. To finish up our block, what I'm going to do is take our last outside triangle piece. I'm going to bring right sides together, offset that outside piece by about a quarter inch, and then sew. And this will finish the smaller block. We're ready now to square up our small blocks. We're going to start by putting our point of our interior piece here right at that intersection of a vertical and horizontal line on our mat. We're going to use our cutting guide to simply get rid of the excess fabric there. We're going to move it next to the side rail and do the same Thing. There. Now we're ready to trim the other corner. What we're going to do is we're going to turn our block, getting that point again right at that intersection of a horizontal and vertical line. And we're going to now do a five and a quarter inch cut. So we're going to start where our block is here, and we're going to go one, two, three, four, five and a quarter. And we're going to do the same on the other side. So since my guide is on this side, let's start here first. So we're setting it at five and a quarter using our mat as the markings on our mat for our guide. And so we have one, two, three, four, five, and there's my quarter. So we're ready to trim here. 
and we're going to repeat on this side, five and a quarter. And there we have a fantastically squared block. So first we're going to get our two orange interior pieces going point to point. And they're going to be sandwiched with those pebble pieces on this side. So what we're going to do at our machine is we are going to make sure we have a pebble piece sewn next to an orange piece. Now the fantastic thing about this is we can pile it because you can see if I turn this so they're the same, all we need to do is create an orange pile and a pebble pile. We're going to take that to our machine. We're going to match up the tricky part here to make sure our points are right on is we're going to match up those intersections and, and interlock our seams so that when we open it up, we have everything in line with each other. And we're ready to take this to the machine and go. Again, I'm going to put the orange right on top of one of my pebble pieces. I'm going to make sure that I have my seams interlocking at this point so that when I open my star up, they all line up really nicely. So we're ready to go. Getting our second set. Again, matching up that, that seam, making sure those are right where they should be. You can always, if you're if you're worried about that slipping, you can always stick a pin in right there. I just happen to usually go without, but I'll show you how to do that. Um, just take one of your pins, and you're just going to put it right at that intersection of those two seams there, and then you don't have to worry about it slipping when you move it from your hand over to the machine. Just make sure that you stop um, before you hit the pin so you don't break a needle. Let's open these up and just see what it looks like. You can see right here, that is a pretty, pretty great intersection. So the next thing we're going to do is take these to our ironing board and get them pressed. 